Hello everyone. First of all, I just want to say how much I miss you all. I hate that we can't be together in person today. I love you all so much and I'm really looking forward to when we get to see each other again. Um, let's go ahead and begin our lesson with a prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you so much that we have the ability to worship you and learn your word today even though we can't be together physically. We thank you that you always hear our prayers. We pray that you will help us to be calm during this difficult time, that you'll give us your peace, which surpasses all understanding, to guard our hearts and minds. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. So, as I had told you last week, we are starting a new memory verse today. And you can ask your parents, or maybe you have older siblings who can help you work on learning it. And if you learn it before we get together again, if your parents will allow you to, I would love for you to make a video of yourself saying it and send it to me. And maybe I can even mail you a little treat for learning it. So, since Easter's coming up very soon, in just a few weeks, I chose a verse that talks about Easter when we celebrate Jesus' death and resurrection. So our memory verse for the next few weeks is going to be Matthew 28, 6. And as you can see, it says, He is not here, for he has risen, as he said. Come see the place where he lay. And again, that's Matthew 28, 6. So please work on that and try to learn it. And then hopefully you can get a little prize for that. All right. So today we are praising God because we can talk to him. Even though he's the creator of the entire universe, he allows us to communicate with him. We can whisper to God, we can chat with God, and we can communicate with him in many ways. When you call or text a friend, you don't always get to communicate with them right at that moment, do you? Sometimes they're busy and they can't answer right away. Sometimes their phone has died, or maybe they don't respond right away because they're sleeping. But how is it different when we communicate with God? God's never too busy for us, is he? He always answers us. God is always available. He'll always answer when we call. What a wonderful promise he has given us. Do you ever wonder if God can listen to many people all over the world when they're all praying to him at once? I know if more than one person talks to me at a time, I can't hear or understand what any of them are saying. Do you think it's the same way for God when we are all praying to him at the same time? It isn't. God isn't limited like humans are. He doesn't get distracted by other things that are going on. He never gets overloaded by everyone calling on him at once. God can hear his children anytime, anywhere, no matter how many people are talking to him at the same time. No one else can do that. Take a look at this cup. I have cut a little slot in it, and you can see I can only put one penny or coin into that slot at a time. I can't do any more than that. No more will fit. Only one at a time. But you can see if I turn the cup over, I can easily put a whole bunch of coins in all at once. And that is how it is when we pray to God. He can hear everybody all at once and take it in just fine. He's not limited like we are. Are there ever times in your life when you almost wish God couldn't hear you? Maybe you had an angry thought or you said something mean? Well, I have good news for you. God wants to hear about those times too. He wants us to come to him when we fail. We can talk to God about things we'd be embarrassed to share with anyone else. He wants us to talk to him about stuff we think no one in the world can understand. We can go to God whenever we need a friend or whenever we need help. God always understands us. Because of his mercy, God sent his son so we could have love and forgiveness. Because God loves you, he wants to hear from you anytime, anywhere. Let's thank God because we can always talk to him. God, we thank you and praise you because you are able to hear our prayers. We don't understand how you do it, but we are grateful that you care about us enough to listen to us. Thank you for always hearing us so that we can talk to you anytime, anywhere, about anything. 
In Jesus' name, amen. Not only does God hear us when we speak to him, he knew that sometimes we might not know exactly what to say. So he gave us some instructions about how to pray to him. Those instructions are known as the Lord's Prayer. If you have your Bible, go ahead and open it up so you can read along with me. You can find it in Matthew chapter 6, verses 9 through 13. These words were spoken by Jesus to his disciples. This then is how you should pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our debts as we also have forgiven our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. Why do you think Jesus taught his disciples to pray this particular prayer? Maybe he did it because he knew that uh, God would want to hear from us. Or maybe it was because he knew they needed to learn the right things to say. How important do you think the specific words of the prayer are? I think we don't have to use those exact words all the time, although we certainly can use them. But I think it's the meaning behind them that is important to God. Jesus also taught us how not to pray. Turn in your Bibles to Matthew chapter 6, verses 5 through 8, which is right before where we just were a moment ago. Let's read this together. And when you pray, do not be like the hypocrites, for they love to pray standing in the synagogues and on the street corners to be seen by men. I tell you the truth, they have received their reward in full. But when you pray, go into your room, close the door, and pray to your Father who is unseen. Then your Father, who sees what is done in secret, will reward you. And when you pray, do not keep on babbling like pagans, for they think they will be heard because of their many words. Do not be like them, for your Father knows what you need before you ask Him. These verses tell us that we shouldn't pray just to get attention from other people. When we pray, we need to do so because we really want to share what is in our hearts with God. They also teach us that we don't need to keep rambling on and on. Our prayers can be simple and to the point because God knows and understands all of our needs. Let's close with a prayer now because God loves to hear from us. Thank you, God, that we can always talk to you about whatever is on our hearts. In Jesus' name, amen. I hope you all enjoyed learning about the Lord's Prayer and that God is able to hear us no matter what. I miss you all so much, and I can't wait to see you again. Bye.